Hey y'all, welcome back to Anu Image. This is your Oracle Doula the Don back with another reading. How is everyone? Prayerfully, all is well. I'm doing good today. I'm doing great today. I can't complain at all. Um, so this reading is gonna be for the sign of Capricorn for April 2019. Um, I have already prayed, meditated over these cards. Um, dealt these cards out, even the clarifiers, because I just like it like this. It gives me more time to actually meditate on the messages. Um, this is um, a new to you deck, uh, the archetype deck. I will be pulling one card, but you guys got three. They came out and I took them because I feel like it, go, it coincides with the message from the other cards. But I will be pulling them so that... Um, each sign can know what archetype, which is a personality trait or a characteristic. It is a fly in my house, y'all. It's springtime here in South Carolina. Um, but yeah, archetype is a personality trait, a characteristic. And I pray that God show me in the cards the personality trait, characteristic, archetype. That the Capricorn would need to embody for the month of April in order to better fight their spiritual battles. Okay. So without further ado, we can get into it because we don't have to shuffle and we don't have to lay the cards out. They're already out. So we're going to start at the head of the read. I pulled two clarifying cards, but I also had a jumper. So I feel like there's a lot of messages. There's a lot going on with the Capricorn this month and I think it's a mental thing okay at the top of the read we have the victory card energy surrounding your situation we have the action card in the reverse like I said mental it's not it's a planning it's a thought process going on it's not actually being done yet we have the fourth chakra Archangel Raphael card and we have Man holding a coin card in the reverse. Okay, so Capricorn, it's like this. What's on your mind is victory, okay? You want victory. Um, and what? Everyone's situation is going to be different, but from what I'm getting is love and or family life. Um, um, it has to do with the heart chakra. Um... Whether, you know, you've been heartbroken or you've broken someone else's heart and healing of the heart chakra. Then we have the action card in, in the reverse. There's nothing being done right now. Like I said, I think this is more so a thought or, you know, a plan. You're thinking about this or whatever. How can you get this victory? How can you heal your heart or how can you heal the heart of the, the person you've broken? I mean, the person whose heart you've broken and then we have man holding a coin card. Excuse me. We have man holding a coin card. And that's what someone's money is funny. And I'm getting an intuitive message that could be why they want to work something out with someone else. But they're just thinking about it right now. That might be a motive. I'm just getting that right now as I'm talking. It might be a motive as to why they want to fix the situation that they were probably the one who broke the situation. But anyways, okay. So from the Romance Angels deck, we have the honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. And we have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. I'm really feeling like somebody wants forgiveness so that they can have that bliss and that would be the victory, you know, forgive me or I forgive you so that we can move forward because this card and it actually came out in the last read. I shuffle before and after every read. So it's meant to be here like somebody's on a ship, this boat. They want to move forward. Somebody wants victory here, whether it's the Capricorn or the Capricorn's counterpart, but they're not taking action yet. OK. Someone wants forgiveness or someone needs to forgive someone else so that you guys can move forward together 
to this bliss, but no one's taking any action because I feel like someone's still hurt about this. Someone's still hurt. Like, and I'm looking at this man holding a coin card in the reverse. Like, I really feel like this money, a money situation may be the motive as to why they want to ask for forgiveness, but the other party heart, the other party's heart isn't healed from what's going on. So maybe that's why they're not taking any action. Maybe, you know, they've communicated because there's a sword card here in the clarifying deck, but we didn't get to that yet. But there's a there's a sword card here, which is thoughts and or communication. And maybe it's been communicated like I'm good. I don't want to work this out because you broke my heart. We'll see, though, once we get into it. Um, from the abundance deck, we have clean energy food. When you fuel your body with the healthful organic diet, you increase your energy levels and ability to focus. This automatically leads to more efficiency, better ideas, and a higher vibration, which attracts golden opportunities and beneficial relationships. And then we have focus on your priorities. Where you put your focus is where you receive your outcome. Your priorities are calling to you, which may produce a feeling of anxiety unless you give them the time and attention they and you deserve. Even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and more confident. So that's just, you know, for anybody, whether they're a Capricorn or whether it's someone that a Capricorn is dealing with, you know, eating better. I'm an advocate for changing diets. I've been vegan for over a year. Don't tell me the fat vegan shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm definitely a chunky monkey. But um, that's because I eat a lot of starch. I've been eating starch again right now. Like I got a thing for Chick-fil-A French fries and sweet potato French fries dipped in honey mustard. God, it's so amazing. But I got and I got to stop eating like that. But, you know, clean energy food will help you better to focus. And then we have another card doubling down over here talking about focusing on your priorities. Once we get into the clarifying deck, there is a card that I want to speak on as far as the focus go. But, you know, man holding man holding a coin in reverse. If you're a Capricorn man or you're a man that a Capricorn is dealing with and your money is funny and you want victory, first and foremost, I don't know if you're looking to someone to take you back, but it's not happening so that you can fix your finances. First of all, you need to eat better to raise your vibration and your energy level and focus on your priorities because I'm getting a sense of somebody's having a wake up call as to how they're messing up their own money. And that's why their their money is funny because it's the things that you're doing. You're not focusing on your priorities. You're spending your money frivolously, you know. So that's what you need to focus on. You don't need to be trying to get back with somebody to to say, oh, well, if I got back with them, then, you know, we both going to be going in on the bills. Da, 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 da. No, focus on your priorities. Stop spending money so frivolously. So let's tap into the clarifying cards because, like, I already know what's going on, but I don't want to just give it all up, like, in the first five minutes of the read. I'm going to start at the base of the read with this man holding a coin card in reverse. That card is being clarified with the Six of Pentacles and the Judgment card. Okay. So, first things first, I feel like you're giving... There's a couple of situations here. First of all, it looks like somebody has to give out money to two different type of parties, you know. And it leaves you. It leaves you. I'm see. OK, there's a there's a scale here. So maybe there's like some child support involved. And then the judgment card is here, too. So maybe. Oh, do somebody want to reconcile because it's a threat of child support? Like I'm looking at these scales and then this judgment card here, like somebody has to give money away. Maybe it's for a legal reason. There's a threat or there's an order of child support. And it's like, oh my gosh, like I'm not going to have the money that I need. Because if you look at the six of pentacles card, it's like three going over here, two going over here. And that leaves me with one. 
you know, and maybe that's a story. Another thing is, you know, you giving money to situations that are not your priorities. So use your better judgment on how you're spending your money. Because like I said, frivolously, like. I'm getting in it like I'm getting a vision of somebody just kind of like. And I don't get me wrong. It's not like they're doing it all the time, but it's just like. You know, just acting like they got it, but they know that they don't. Like, somebody needs to slow down with the way that they're spending their money. Because it's like, you know, you just... Like that. And it's like, you need to use your better judgment on how you're spending your money. Focus on your priorities. If it's not a priority, you don't have the money for it. Period. I'm trying to see which direction I want to go with this read because I'm I don't know like I'm just getting like like they may there may be an order of child support or maybe there are orders of child support because like I said it's two different individuals that this man in this card is giving money to and it's leaving them broke you know and it was a judgment like I'm really feeling like some child support something is going on here and I feel like this is causing this person to want to reconcile with somebody because they don't want to pay the child support. So they like kind of begging for forgiveness from somebody whose heart that they broke. Hmm. The victory card at the head of the read is being clarified with first these two cards. The seven of wands. The sun. And then the three of cups jumped out. And I took it because it's, it goes with this message. Okay. Somebody wants victory over the fussing and the fighting. You know what I'm saying? They want victory over their finances because with this card here, I feel like it's like they got to fight people out of their pockets. Like, I'm giving you three. I'm giving you two. That leaves one for me. Like, back the fuck up. Back up off me. Like, and I'm sorry that it came out like that, but that's just the energy that it's in. Like, they want, they want. They're, they're hoping, you know what I'm saying, to have victory. I feel like somebody about to have to go to court for child support. And it's like two different women. And one of the women, one of their, one of the women, it's like they're trying to finesse this woman. Excuse me, I'm moving around and I'm moving the table too. One of the women, it's like, because this hand is here. One of the women, it's like they're trying to, I guess, finesse, you know, through sex or something like that. They're trying to finesse this woman like, no, don't do, you know, like, you know, we're going to get back together. With, I really feel like this is a plot. Like, I don't know. I'm pretty sure everybody's not going through this or whatever, but I'm just, it's just a, a energy. Like, this is a whole plot to like stop to not have to pay child support. And it might be exposed with the sun card here. Like their their game might be exposed. But like I was saying, that's only for like specific whoever may be going through that. I don't know who that needs to reach. But it's like somebody wants victory over the fussing and the fight. And um, I feel like there is a third party situation going on because there's two cards clarifying that to me. And we have the three of Swartz card here. There are children involved. There are definitely children involved. And that's not for everybody. But I feel like. Somebody want their family back. Period. You know. But it's like. They got to fight their demons. And fight their urges. To be in this type of three of cups energy. Like partying all the time. Running around with different women. Or having a side chick. Having affairs and stuff like that. And they're trying. They want to do it. Because of the kids. It's money involved too. But it's like. The kids are what's making them. Want to have this victory. They thinking about their kids. Or their child. Um, the action card in the reverse is being clarified with the chariot in the reverse. 
and the king of swords. Okay, so for me, um, it's like there's no action moving forward. And that's doubled down with the chariot card in the reverse because somebody is kind of... First, the first word I got is being stubborn, but it's like they're just thinking about it or they're just talking about it. That's one thing. Like another thing is like there's no action. There's no moving forward because someone has actually communicated. They don't want to move forward. And another thing with this whole like child support type of situation is not going to be moving forward because somebody just wants to go see the judge. Like they want the judge to go ahead and communicate what it is as far as child support is concerned. So that I guess that's three different stories. There's a there's somebody here who wants victory over a child support situation. There's somebody here who wants victory over their family and getting their family back because they want to be there for the kids. But they got the they have to fight their own demons. And there's somebody here who's like, I guess, trying to finesse somebody as far as child support is concerned. But their plans are not going to move forward because it's like somebody's just going to take you to court anyway. Like, they're not trying to move forward. They're not trying to be finessed. They're not trying to hear it. Like, they, they want to go to court. Fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael card is being clarified with the Ten of Cups and the Three of Swords in reverse. So, I'm feeling like... You know, somebody here is or was heartbroken. They had a good thing going. They had the family, the man, the woman, the kids, you know, the house, whatever. And it's like, in order for you to have victory, this person has to come out of the heartbreak. It's like, you know, like they feel betrayed. It's like their heart is broken. And it's like, some, you know, trying to move a mountain, basically. It's, I don't know. I would love to look deeper into this, but this is just a general reading because it's a lot going on here. It's like somebody's trying to fight for their family. There's no action. There's no moving forward. There is communication. There is thoughts of this, but there's no action moving forward because somebody's heart is broken. But in order for this to change, their heart would have to, they would have to heal their heart from the hurt, the betrayal, you know, that three of cups, third party energy, like somebody had a baby on somebody and all. And it's like, you want to come back to me, you, you on child support, your money messed up. You cheated on me. You had that baby while we were together or while we were in a family situation, now your money looking funny because you got to pay child support. So it's like, whereas if you were to come back to me, we could have had six pentacles, but you got to give two over there. And now we only got four. So it's like somebody wants to, they want forgiveness. They've learned from their mistakes. But it's up to the other person because the other person is the one whose heart is broken. Their heart needs healing. And somebody has to fight their demons because it's like, you've shown me. The sun card here is telling me, like, you've shown me that this is what type of time you want. Are you willing to fight your demons? Are you willing to fight your demons? Because you say you want to come out of this fussing and this fight. And I'm getting a lot. It's a lot going on here. All right. So, when I asked for the card to answer the question on the heart and the mind of the Capricorn, I got look for a sign. That would mean whatever it means to you. And um, I was just told intuitively once I pulled that card to look at the bottom of the deck. And this was the card, forgiveness. So, it's like the only way you're going to have victory. Stop. First of all. You cannot finesse nobody into forgiving you, first of all. You can't finesse somebody into forgiving you. So, the only way you're going to have victory in this situation is if you forgive somebody or if somebody decides to forgive you, but it's their choice and you're not going to be able to finesse them. Also, you're not going to be able to just do it for the kids because nobody is trying to be in a situation that's just for the kids. 
Like people want real love. It's 2019. Everybody out here playing for self. Like it's a lot going on. Like people are trying to protect themselves against stuff like this. But somebody here has done that already. So you have to let them heal. If that's what you really want, you have to fight your demons. You have to shine light on your demons and your ways in order to get them to forgive you. And you have to learn from your mistakes if you really want to sail off into the sunset and to bliss with this person. And whoever, whoever fighting a child support case, like it just is what it is. You're going to have to pay child support. Period. So focus on your priority and stop spending money all willy nilly because you know you got a house over here. You got a house over here. One of them is court ordered child support. The other one might be child support too. I'm not sure. I don't know you all situation. That's just for somebody in specific, whoever that message is for. But you got to stop doing what you're doing with your money and focus on your priorities and eat better so that you can have better energy and you can raise your vibration. And, you know, get right. All right. So the archetype deck, the archetype, like I said, characteristics, personality, archetype um, that the Capricorn needs for April 2019 to fight their spiritual battles. First of all, three cards came out. I took them all because, like I said, it's a lot going on here. And I think that you need to hear this. First card is the exorcist. Light attribute is freeing yourself and others from destructive impulses. I, I think that the Capricorn needs to do that or the Capricorn is waiting on somebody to do that and trying to help them do that. Shadow attribute is fear of facing your own demons. Like I said, you have to fight your own demons in order to get victory in this situation here. You don't need to be afraid of it. So turn that light on within yourself and look at where you fucked up. Okay. The second card I got was the mediator. The light attributes are gift for negotiating fairness and strategy in personal and professional life, respect for both sides of an argument. Um I feel like that's court. That may be going towards the person who is going to court. You know what I'm saying? You know what's fair. You know what's fair and you know what's right. So do what's right. Shadow attribute. Negotiating with an ulterior motive or hidden agenda, either personally or professionally. And that's what I was talking about. Like somebody trying to finesse a situation like they want to reconcile with somebody to not have to pay child support with somebody. And that's the hidden agenda. Like they're looking for forgiveness and acting like they learned their lesson because they don't want to have to pay child support. Visionary, light attributes, capacity to envision what is not yet conceivable to others, willingness to proclaim a vision without regard for personal gain. That's for those who really fight and for their family and want to reconcile. Shadow attributes. Selling insights to the highest bidder, compromising your vision to make it more acceptable. Don't compromise yourself. Don't compromise yourself. But it's a lot going on here. There's a lot of different Capricorn enemy, energies, not enemies. A lot of Capricorn energy going on in this read, various energies, various storylines, you know. But y'all know what y'all got going on. So just look within yourself and get get right. All right. This is Jula the Don signing out. Sending love, kisses, and blessings to you all. Peace.